Hey, what's up folks? This is Keith and you're watching Barber's Auto Help. Thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disconnect and reconnect one of these here heater hose quick disconnects. Now I'm seeing this heater hose quick disconnect being used more and more on Ford vehicles, uh, especially on the F-150s and the Expeditions here recently. Uh, I'm sure that it's probably used on other Ford vehicles as well. And not only is it used in the heater hose quick disconnect application, but it's also used on smaller hoses that connect elsewhere besides the heater core. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. So first thing I want to bring your attention to is the underside of this quick disconnect. You can see on the locking ring here, which is the white portion of this quick disconnect, there's a surface that has kind of a serrated edge on it, and that will help you to grip that locking ring a little better. So when we go to take it off, what we're going to do is take our index finger, we're going to manipulate that serrated surface on the locking ring and push it down and rotate the locking ring in a counterclockwise direction, and that will unlock the locking ring. Once that's unlocked, and sometimes it will help Help to rotate the body of the quick disconnect as well. Once it's unlocked and you wiggle the disconnect a little bit there, it should pop right off. And you can see right here with it disconnected while I manipulate that ring, what's happening, it's pulling away from the center of the connector. That's allowing it to be able to become dislodged from that rib on the heater core so that you can pull it off the line. The installation is basically the reverse procedure. You want to make sure that that locking ring is fully seated in the clockwise direction. So kind of twist it a little bit there, clock it a little bit to the right there, and then once it's seated, go ahead and push it back on the line, and you'll see that it will open and close, and that locks it into place. And also, you want to give the line a tug after it's seated and make sure that it doesn't just pull right off. So that is it. Quick and simple, very easy. Sure appreciate you guys watching. As always, please read the description below this video before you apply any of this knowledge. There may be some things I need to clarify. That's where I do that. And also please read the disclaimer at the very end of that in the description. Thanks again, guys. Have a good one.